A small NASA moon probe missed a critical maneuver on Monday, November 21st, but the CubeSat may still be able to save its water-hunting mission. NASA officials speculated that a blocked valve in the CubeSat's propulsion mechanism prevented it from performing an engine firing during its flyby of the moon on Monday. However, hope is not completely gone. The propulsion system on the Luna H map does not seem to be malfunctioning, and heating the valve might liberate it, allowing the system to join the others in operation. The Luna H map satellite was one of 10 CubeSats launched as ride along payloads on NASA's Artemis 1 mission on Wednesday, November 16th. The purpose of Luna H map is to create a map of the hydrogen and, by extension, water ice near the south pole of the Moon. Such information is invaluable to the Artemis program at NASA, which plans to construct a staffed research station in the area. NASA officials noted in the update that trajectory options outside the Earth-Moon system may exist to fly near to specific asteroids and characterize their hydrogen composition, suggesting that Luna H map might potentially find employment outside the solar system if the present glitch takes much longer to repair. The Arizona State University-led Luna H map isn't the first Artemis 1 CubeSat to have issues after being sent into space by the mission's Space Launch System rocket. For instance, the Omotenashi probe from Japan had trouble transmitting and hence was unable to place a small lander on the moon's surface. Both the NASA NEA Scout and the Citizen Science CubeSat Team Miles have remained radio quiet since their launches on November 16th, and there may be issues with the Loon IR spacecraft as well. The unmanned Orion spacecraft will travel to lunar orbit and return for over 26 days on the maiden mission of the Artemis program. On Friday, Orion will begin its long, retrograde orbit around Earth's natural satellite, November 25th. The capsule will stay in orbit for almost a week, before returning to Earth, where it will splash down in the ocean on December 11th. Hopefully, in 2024, Artemis II will send people on a circumlunar flight, and in the following year or so, Artemis III will land humans near the Moon's south pole. And as always, if you want to learn more about space and stay up to date, like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.